Let me get a sip of that good, clean Pellegrino. Hello everyone, welcome back to a brand new video, a brand new review, and today we're taking a look at the Jordan 5 Fire Red. Once again, I should have got a knife, and once again, no knife gang. I don't even know if I should add these unboxings in. Sometimes I feel like leaving it, sometimes I don't. Jeez. And here they are, the Jordan 5 Fire Red. Okay, so of course you get that Jordan box, and this time you get like some plastic paper. So immediately a very clean sneaker. So the Jordan 5 Fire Red Silver Tongue, and of course Silver Tongue for this Silver, which is actually 3M. So this sneaker right here just released this weekend on May the 2nd after being pushed back not once, but two times. So it was originally scheduled to release back in March and then pushed forwards to April and then again pushed forward to the release date, which is now May the 2nd. So its original release date was back in March because that signified the 30th anniversary of this fire red silhouette. So it's pretty unfortunate that obviously it wasn't able to release on that date. However, Nike does seem to have a lot of issues with shipping at the moment. It doesn't seem to have affected other manufacturers and other brands such as Adidas and different places like that. Personally, I got this pair from Foot Asylum because when I ordered from Nike, they told me that the estimated delivery date was on the 18th of May. So you can just imagine ordering these on the second and getting them in over two weeks away is just not good enough. So I ordered them off of Foot Asylum and they came next day, no problem. For any future releases, especially while everything is going on right now, and obviously Nike is having a lot of issues, if you do have an opportunity to order these somewhere else other than Nike, I would definitely suggest doing that. You'll get your pairs a lot quicker. But anyway, the retail price of these is of course $200 and £165. This is like one of the most iconic Jordans, this fire red colorway and coming back in this really retro, really nice looking colorway. Starting at the very bottom of the sneaker, you've got a giant Jumpman logo as well as the Nike text at the bottom. And that is split up between this icy blue and this solid black. Moving up to the midsole of this sneaker, you have a predominantly black midsole, whereas on the OG version, it was predominantly red. However, as you move forward, you do have this iconic Jordan 5 shark teeth, which is in this red color. And of course, it has that visual air unit on both sides, which you can see into, which is very iconic for all Nike Air sneakers. Moving up to the uppers of this sneaker, it is a really nice feeling leather material, of course, coming in this solid white, and you do have this kind of plastic rubberized uh, mesh, which is again, iconic to pretty much all Jordan 5 sneakers. have 
the Nike Air logo on the back, which differs from the OG one, which had a black Jumpman logo embroidered to the heel of the shoe. It is really, really nicely padded. So of course it's very chunky, very bulky. And then you move into one of the biggest departures from the OG pair, which is this silver tongue. It is actually completely 3M. So this is reflective, which I think is a really cool uh, addition to this pair. And of course, over to the lacing system, you find this plastic lace lock, which is in a translucent and red color. And of course, this is very signature to all Jordan 5s. Now the leather is really nice. It feels good. It is nice plush materials. I'm a big fan of Jordan 5s. I think the off-white one looks really, really good. So this sneaker should be very easy to get. If you haven't got yourself a pair yet, you may even be able to find some pairs sitting on sites like Foot Asylum, Foot Patrol. Um, they, they did sell out on Nike sneakers. However, you may be able to find them at some of the foot sites. So as far as sizing goes, this fits me true to size. And of course, I would definitely recommend if you have tried on a pair of Jordan 5s before, this is gonna be exactly the same. But that is pretty much it for the video. Thank you so much for watching and of course subscribing because I know that you just did that. Thank you for doing that because you just clicked it and you subscribed, I can just tell already. Thank you for doing that. Uh, thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. Thank you for liking, because of course, of course you did that as well. But that is it. I'll catch you in the next one.